One Friday afternoon, little Johnny goes to the doctor's office and said, Doc, you got to help me out. I need a double dose of Viagra. The doctor says, little Johnny, what do you mean you need a double dose of Viagra? He said, yes, I need it. He says, I got my girlfriend that's in town tonight. My ex-wife is coming into town tomorrow night. And I'll be with my wife all day on Sunday. So the doctor shakes his head. He says, fine, I'll do it for you this once. He says, but you're going to have to come in on Monday and let me check you out because I don't know what this is going to do. Little Johnny says, fine, I'll do anything. Just give me the pills. So the doctor gives it to him. So Monday morning, little Johnny comes stumbling in with his arm up in a sling. And the doctor says, what happened? What happened? Little Johnny says, oh, nothing. Just... None of them women decided to show up. I had to take matters in my own hands. Little Johnny had gained a ton of weight, and I'm talking a whole lot of weight, and he couldn't lose it. Every diet that he tried, he did just nothing would work. So he finally went to the doctor. He says, Doc, you gotta help me. He says, there's nothing I do that will help me lose weight. He says, well, there's this new thing out there. He says, and I want you to try it, but you gotta trust me because you're gonna think it's kind of weird. He says, Doc, I'll do anything. He says, okay, you can eat whatever you want, for a month, but everything you eat, you gotta eat it through your butt. He's like, that's kinda weird, but I'll try it out. He says, all right, come back in a month and let me know what happens. So little Johnny goes and he does what he says and he comes back in a month and he's super skinny and he's back to the way he was, but he's bouncing all around and the doctor says, you look great, you look amazing. He says, but why are you bouncing all around? He says, oh, I'm just so happy, doc. He says, I'm just so, so happy. I thought today I'd chew some gum. One day, little Johnny has to go to the bathroom real bad, so he runs on in, and his mom's taking a shower. He said, Mom, what's that between your legs? She says, oh, little Johnny, that's paradise. He says, okay, and he runs off and goes and plays. Well, about a week later, he runs on in, go to the bathroom again, his dad's taking a shower. He says, Dad, what's that between your legs? He says, oh, little Johnny, that's the key to paradise. Johnny puts his head down, and he says, oh, Dad, I think you're going to have to change the locks. Because the neighbor, he also has a key to that paradise. One Saturday morning, little Johnny's standing at the sink shaving, and Bubba the gardener comes in because he had to use the bathroom real bad. And little Johnny looks over and couldn't help but see how big his pecker was. He says, Bubba, I got to ask. He says, what's your trick? How is it so big? He says, well, every night before I get in bed with a woman, he says, I bang it on that bedpost three times. He says, it seems to work. So that night, little Johnny... Goes to get in bed with little Susie and he bangs it on the bedpost three times. It's just, oh, Bubba, is that you? Little Johnny's still at home. <laughs> little Johnny's grandpa was 95 years old and he passed away. So Johnny went over to his grandma's house and said, well, what's going on? I just saw you yesterday. She said, oh, yeah. He had a heart attack while we were making love. He said, well, what do you mean you're making love? You're both 95 years old. You're too old to be having sex. She said, no, little Johnny. She said, we knew that with our advanced age that the best time to make love would be during the church bells. You know, a simple in with the ding and out with the dong. It was magical. And if it wasn't for that damn ice cream truck going by, he'd still be alive today. <laughs> There was this guy at a nude beach reading the newspaper, and he didn't realize that kids were allowed there. So obviously, little Johnny's there, and he comes, walks up on him. And the guy takes the newspaper and covers himself up. Little Johnny says, hey, mister, what's underneath that newspaper? The guy thinks quick. He says, a bird. Little Johnny doesn't think anything of it. And he says, okay, and goes and plays. About three hours later, the guy wakes up in the emergency room. He says, like, well, what's going on? He goes, the last thing I remember, I was talking to this kid, and, and then he went off to play. So they go down and they try and find little Johnny. And little Johnny says, well, yeah. He says, mister, after you fell asleep, I was playing with your bird and it spit at me. So I broke its neck, cracked its eggs, and started its nest on fire. Well, Billy steps outside and he sees this big old gorilla up in the tree and he doesn't know what to do. So he calls little Johnny to come get it out. Little Johnny shows up with a ladder, some handcuffs, a pit bull, and a shotgun. Little Johnny hands little Billy the leash with the pit bull and then he gives him the shotgun. Little Johnny starts climbing up the ladder. Little Billy says, all right, well, what are we going to do with this dog and the shotgun? Little Johnny says, easy. I'm going to climb up this ladder. I'm going to push that gorilla out the tree. And the pit bull is going to bite him in the nuts long enough for me to handcuff him and get him out of here. Little Billy says, okay, I got it. But what's the gun for? Little Johnny smiles and said, well, if the gorilla happens to push me out of the tree, shoot the dog. <laughs> so little Susie was in a coma in the hospital. And the nurse was giving her a sponge bath and went over the top of her vagina and noticed a little bit of movement. 
So she says, little Johnny, get in here. Little Johnny goes in there and she tells him what happened. And she says, all right, I've got an idea. She says, I'll leave the room, close the curtain. And how about you try oral sex and see if we can't pull her out of this? Little Johnny says, okay, I can do that. So she leaves the room and a couple minutes go by and all of a sudden little Susie flatlines. The nurses and the doctors come running in and they're like, what happened, what happened? Little Johnny says, well, nurse, I, I, I did what you told me to do, but she must have choked. <laughs> For little Johnny and little Susie's 40th wedding anniversary, they decided to go back to a little town where they had their first date. They went to this bar called the Rusty Nail that was still open and running to this day. They go inside and have a few drinks and start to feel a little frisky and Little Susie says, hey, little Johnny, why don't you take me around back like you did last time we were here? Little Johnny smiles and takes her hand and pulls her around back and they lean up against this fence and they go crazy for 25 minutes nonstop, arms and legs just a flailing, and then they drop to the ground in exhaustion. Little Susie says, oh my gosh, you didn't do me like that 40 years ago. Little Johnny smiles and says, yeah, there wasn't an electric fence here either. <laughs> Little Johnny was a postman, and it was his last day on the job. As he was doing his last rounds, people were giving him treats and cards and little knickknacks here and there, and he got to his last place. Little Johnny had always loved Mrs. Johnson. She was beautiful and invited him in for a big steak dinner. Little Johnny sat down. It was the best steak he's ever had in his life, and she says, All right, why don't you come upstairs for dessert? Little Johnny ran up behind her, and he had the best time of his life for an over an hour and a half. After they were done, she handed him a dollar. Little Johnny says, thank you, but what's this for? She says, oh, that's from my husband. You see, all I wanted to do for your retirement was make you a nice dinner. I asked my husband what I should give you, and he said, screw him. Give him a dollar so you can thank him. Little Johnny and little Susie were in health class, and they were talking about the human anatomy. Well, then to class, little Susie says, little Johnny, I don't know what a penis is. He says, I don't know either, but tonight I'm going to ask my big brother. He'll know what it is, and he'll tell me. So that evening, just before bed, little Johnny says to his brother, he says, well, what's a penis? He says, you know what, little brother? I'm not only going to tell you, I'm going to show you. And he pulls his pants down and he says, that right there is a perfect penis. Little Johnny says, okay. So next day he goes to school. Little Susie said, did your brother tell you what it was? He says, yeah, he did. He says, I'll show you after school. So after school, they go out, go behind the dumpsters, and little Johnny pulls his pants down and he says, this is a penis. And if it were three inches shorter, it would be a perfect penis. So little Johnny ended up getting the coronavirus and he's laying in his hospital bed with the mask over his face and the nurse walks in and he says, nurse, are my testicles black? She says, oh, sir, I'm, I'm sure everything's okay. And he said, nurse, are my testicles black? And she says, sir, I'm, I'm sure. She goes, I'm not the doctor, but I'm sure everything's fine. And he says, nurse... Are my testicles black? So at this point, she's kind of a little bit flustered. And she lifts up his, his gown and lifts up his balls and his pecker. And he blows his load right in there, right in her hand. And he pulls his mask off his face. And he says, ma'am, thank you for that. But I was just wondering if my test results were back. <laughs> One night late at night, little Johnny walked past his parents' bedroom. And they were doing the nasty. Well, it kind of scared him, and he didn't know what to do, so he just ran back to bed and went under the covers and went to sleep. So that next morning at breakfast, he gets up and he says, Mom, what were you and Dad doing in your room last night? And she was quick thinking, and she says, oh, well, we were baking a cake. So little Johnny doesn't think anything of it and keeps eating his breakfast. Well, a couple weeks go by, little Johnny's back at breakfast. He said, hey, Mom, last night you and Dad were baking a cake on the couch, weren't you? She said, like, yeah, yeah, how'd you know? He said, well, after you were done, I went over there and I licked up the frosting. <laughs> little Johnny says to little Susie, hey, sex at my place tonight? She says, sure. He says, well, okay, well, I got to let you know I sleep on a bunk bed with my little brother. Well, he thinks we're going to be making sandwiches up there, so we need to come up with a code. Salami means faster and cheese means harder. She says, okay, bet. So later on that night, little Susie's saying, salami, salami, cheese, cheese, salami, salami, cheese, cheese. Little Johnny's little brother says, hey, quit making sandwiches up there. You're getting mail all over my bed. <laughs> little Johnny goes to the doctor and says, doc, you got to help me out. It turns out little Susie's pregnant. He said, I got a vasectomy a couple of years ago, and you know that that's impossible that I could get her pregnant. And the doctor says, all right, little Johnny, let me tell you a little story. There was this great hunter. 
And everywhere that he went, he always brought his gun. Well, one day he mistakenly grabbed his umbrella as he was walking out into the field. And there was this huge lion that jumped up on him. He picked up his umbrella. He aimed. He shot. And the lion died. Well, the giant says, oh, you're full of crap. Somebody else shot that lion. Doctor says, oh, so you understand the story. Next patient, please. He just says, okay, class, I want you to tell me words that end in T-O-R that eat something. Little Sally raises her hand and she says, alligator. Teacher says, oh yeah, that's a good one, little Sally. Little Billy raises his hand and he says, predator. Teacher says, okay, but what do predators eat? He says, oh, they eat all kinds of things. Teacher says, you're right. Well, little Johnny raises his hand and he says, vibrator. Teacher said, vibrator? Well, it does end in T-O-R, but it doesn't eat anything. Well, Johnny smiles and said, oh, ma'am, you're wrong. I heard my mom saying the other day that that thing eats batteries like crazy.